Hello everybody! In this video, we're going to introduce the internet for the APCSP exam by going through code.org's section 2.1. Alright, let's get going! So unlike with the other videos that I have, I'm not going to do an introduction section because code.org's activity, entire activity, is an introduction. Code.org's materials start with three questions. These are probably not going to be graded. The first one asks about the biggest frustrations you have with the internet, and two and three ask about beneficial and harmful effects on the internet. This idea of beneficial and harmful effects is going to be a big theme on the APCSP exam, so I'm going to go over some examples of how you can answer this question now. So the first one I'll talk about is e-commerce. E-commerce is beneficial economically to internet businesses, something like Amazon. But at the same time, by its very nature, it's going to be harmful economically to brick and mortar stores, so traditional family owned stores, for example. E-news is going to be beneficial to society because we don't have to wait for the network people to report news anymore. Anybody can report news who has a Twitter account. At the same time, it's going to be harmful to society because now we have less fact checking, so which means more potential for misinformation, more potential for fake news. So again, this concept comes up all the time in the APCSP exam, and you'll want to be able to train yourself to think in this way. All right, at this point, Code.org wants you to ask yourself, what is the internet? They want you to get together and write about it and talk about it in groups for 20 minutes. I think this is kind of long, but eventually they give you the answer in their video. Link is in the description below and in the upper right right here. I'm going to play the answer now. Paul Barron was trying to figure out how to build a communication system that might actually survive a nuclear attack. So he had this idea of breaking messages up into blocks and sending them as fast as possible in every possible direction through the mesh network. There's certain concepts that that video goes over that will show up on the AP exam, and I'll go over those now. So you might remember the video said that the internet can survive nuclear attacks and it's distributed. The vocab word you want to learn for this is that the internet is fault tolerant. That means that it's tolerant to faults, faults are something that's going wrong. So the internet still works when things go wrong. And this is a super important term that you'll need to know for the exam. And the other terminology you'll need to know is that the internet is redundant, which is just another way of saying fault tolerant. If something goes down, the internet still works. Lastly, they talk about internet messages being broken up into blocks. There's a word for this, it's called packets, and we'll go over this later on. Moving on to the internet simulator part, I've logged into my sections, and I'm going to open up two tabs so I can communicate with myself. So I'm going to join for both tabs, and here I am in my first tab. I'm going to write a message, and as you see, my words get converted into numbers, and those numbers get converted into binary. If you look right here, the H is a 72, the lowercase i is a 105, that corresponds to HI, and then if I just convert 72 into binary, I get 1001000. So hopefully that makes sense. So I'll send the message now. So when I go into my second tab, I see I received that message, and I'll send a message back to my first tab, Again, my letters are converted into numbers, and my numbers get converted into binary. And when I go back to my first tab, I see I've received this message. Now, truthfully, you could probably skip this entire activity, but code.org is going to ask you, how is this the same as the real internet? And how is this different from the real internet? You might come up with stuff like, it's the same as the real internet, in that I can send messages to other people, and that it's converted from human into computer and back again, because that's how stuff with computers works. It's different from the internet, and that I'm only sending text, so no pictures or videos, and it's not quite as fast as the real internet. Finally, code.org asks you to think about how you use the internet. Here are some answers from code.org itself. I can't imagine you'll be graded on this, but just in case you wanted to see what some of the answers are. Since this is an introduction, we're gonna skip the practice questions for now. For now, just remember that the internet is for communication, the internet is fault tolerant and redundant, and internet messages are broken up into packets and sent. Those are the concepts you'll see when we do more APCSP practice questions later. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.